So with the smart board, we've got this entire new set of keys that just don't exist on a normal layout. And that's these lateral keys that are essentially in between the normal columns of your layout. Um, and I was a bit concerned about this. This was one of my primary concerns. I looked at that, I thought actually lateral movement is something we try and avoid normally. It's a lateral stretch that you want to avoid. Something like reaching over for shift on a normal keyboard. That, that far reaching movement, especially with your pinkies, is horrible. And I've spent my life trying to uh, eradicate that from all of my layouts. So obviously you have to use some of these additional lateral keys to map the keys that have been displaced. So we have no equivalent on the Svalbard for the top and bottom rows of your inner columns. So those four keys need to be moved. So normally what people do on this is they just put this on those lateral keys. And I've had no problem using that. We'll get more onto that when we talk about sort of learning layouts on this. Um, but essentially that's the sort of approach. I think a lot of people might look at this and think this is, this is a main problem. You know, you've got to displace these keys. What have you got to do? You've got to put them on a lateral key. Is that a problem? It's really not a problem. Those lateral keys are very natural to use. I think actually we think we don't use lateral movement much with a normal keyboard. I think we actually in reality do much more than we think we do. You know, on a normal keyboard, when you have your fingers at that diagonal position to try and keep your wrist neutral, which is the way I sort of I, uh, talk about using normal keyboards quite often, to reach those keys, there is lateral movement all the time in your fingers. It's something we are doing all the time when we're typing. So that tiny little lateral movement in the spellboard is an absolute non-issue. So I think it's hard to overstate the significance of what we're looking at here in terms of the key position around your resting position for your hand. So every key is more or less the same distance to reach